A secret to a good marriage. Just don't get divorced. <laughs> Since Katie left the Australian jungle in November 2009, we've been with her every step of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I've decided I'm now pregnant. Why me? Why Chrissy? Through the bad times. If I can have anything for Christmas, get me to have my children with me Christmas Day. The good times. <laughs> my whole life's a show. And the truly amazing times. We actually are getting married in half an hour. Bringing you the exclusive story of what Katie did next. Quick, 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 get out, go, go, jump, jump. The rejuvenation. This week, as the series draws to a close, domestic bliss so cool. clashes with a celebrity lifestyle. Oh, he's gone. Of course, I hate being away from him. There's drama at the Oscars. Oh, I want to be sick. And Katie and Alex prepare to face the future. Everyone's always good, so they're not going to last. Do we care? No. It's the 27th of February. Katie got hitched to Alex nearly a month ago, and marriage to a cage fighter means there's more than his dirty washing to pick up. Alex has put his bloody thing in the back. How am I going to get that out? How am I supposed to get this out on my own? Look. A punch bag. But actually, I don't think it's that heavy. Where do I put this in the house? Yeah. You're gonna me. The children are at home with a nanny. Hey kids! And can't wait to get their hands on the new addition to the household. <laughs> Where's your boxing gloves? Go and get them. Beep beep! Boy, aren't you good? <laughs> By evening, hubby's home and everyone's happy to see him. Helping the sister, are you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, little monkey. Yeah, I'll show you. Alex has been away training since the wedding, and in only two days he's leaving again, so he's on borrowed time. Harder, harder, go on. I love it, little mini watching you. He has. Good boy, good, good boy. job. <laughs> Say, I'm strong. I'm strong. Got <laughs> <laughs> to go and sit in your chair. Time out. Time out. All right, I think it's time to get ready. We've got to go. Out. The new punch bag's going down a storm with the kids, but there's a hot date on the agenda, so playtime's over. We are rushing to get ready to go to my friend's cage fighting show, where we are guests of honour. Guess what I had tickets to? I got invited to half an hour ago. What? You're going to to meet again, not that it matters who you meet, Lady Gaga, so now it's got a show on. Do you want to go? No, I'm coming with you. I'm your wifey. Yeah, but you fancy that, though? No, I'm not coming with you. Yeah, but what's the that about? You wouldn't actually get to meet her, though, would you? No, it's Lisa. She might as well do her gig. You wouldn't actually get to meet her, Yes, it's her gig. But don't bother me. And that's what I mean. Don't bother me. I'm quite fancy a concert, but I'd rather do... You can't put this on now. I'd rather go and talk to Oh, you can't put it on now. Come here. You've got to go and have your dinner. So cage fighting it is. Lady Gaga will have to wait. But before Katie and Alex get changed, there's a little princess to dress. Well, like I'm an expert at these sort of things. <laughs> Dressing princess is one thing, but Katie's got a tougher challenge in mind. Can you undo a bra with one hand? Yeah. You can? Yeah. I'll test you to that later. Can you? Yeah. No, you yeah. experience. Easy. 
They're still very much in the honeymoon period, but the clock's ticking. We really need to keep you getting ready, babe. Not much of about your bra. Wow. After a quick change, Katie's ready for the off, but Alex is still half dressed, and it's given her ideas. I know I'd like to go off to. <coughs> Come on, let's and that's go. up some stairs on the square thing. <laughs> Here. And the what? The square thing. A bed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. she is hot. Look how hot she is. You straight me like I'm a cat. You've got red matching bra with your red shoes. Pink. I always have oh, to match. Lovely. Oh, that's saucy. Pink little mm. hair thing. What do you call them? Hairband. I bet you've got matching underwear. Yeah, and the matching bags, the skull to match the skulls on the shoes. That's fine. But the sauciness will have to wait as it's time to step out. Bye. And Alex shows off his new bride on fight night. It's the next morning, and after a glamorous night out on the tiles, Katie and Alex are off to the supermarket. Morning. Morning. We're all rushing around today because I want to go riding. Oh, yeah. Alex has just trained, but we haven't got long because the in-laws are coming up, both sets. So I'm just going shopping. Today's lunch is a private family affair, and there are no cameras allowed. Who have we got coming around? Your mum and dad. Yeah. Your sister, husband, kids. Um, Blimey. Oh, your side. Is that it, Mike? My brother Louise, oh, my mum and Paul. It's going to be interesting. But the thing is, all I'm worried about is cooking. I've got to cook for about 15 people. I don't think my oven's done that, but I'm going to cheat a bit today. 15, you're right. This will be the quickest shopping ever. I'm going to bung two legs of lamb in there and just buy the cauliflower cheese and all that already made and all them bits and just shove them in the oven. Do my normal mashed potato and Bob's your uncle. Time's tight, so it's all hands on deck for Mr and Mrs Reed. It's going to be busy in the Reed household. Yeah, I'll have to show you a plaque that's got done, what Polly did for us. What price? The Reed donations. There you go, baby. Katie and Alex tied the knot nearly a month ago, but their families still have to get to know each other. Our parents haven't met. So this is the first time, so it's going to be, uh, yeah, it'd be nice, no stress. We're both very like-minded, that's what I mean, I me and Kate are very like-minded, so our parents are pretty like-minded, so, well, we'll see later, won't we? I'm not nervous, nothing to be nervous about. I knew the families would get on, I wouldn't marry someone unless the families get on. I made that mistake last time. At least the in-laws aren't going to go hungry. Sweet. That's enough, isn't it? All cauliflower cheese. I think that's enough. You always buy too much. Should we do starter or not bother? Just get the retails. Thank you. You're welcome. Finally, it's on to the frozen food section for dessert. Do you have to defreeze it? Yeah. Oh, but how do you do it? Should I get that? I'll, I'll see if I can. Should I get some ready made ones that are ready done? Well, that's what I thought these are. Two and a half, three hours to defrost. Just get a few of those. That would do, wouldn't it? Lunch for the family sorted. Back home, there's a quick goodbye. Mm. Mm, it's 
52. Yeah. Be good. Be, be good. Katie's off to the stables, leaving Alex to start on the food. Just left Katie to go and ride, which I think is really good for her because it will calm her down a bit. Once she's done that, it'll be good. A bit of exercise and a bit of meditation, so, yeah. Do you know what? It's funny here in the Reed Kingdom, it's just all hands on deck, and it's like a bit of a mishmash. That's, that's kind of our lives. Maybe we should have a bit more order, but it seems to be working up to now. Coming up, Mrs. Reed goes it alone. I should miss Alex in bed. And heads off to party in LA. Where two broken hearts go. God, we're gonna regret this. It's a few weeks since Katie and Alex got married, and yesterday their parents met for the first time. It was like cooking for Christmas last night, as if it was Christmas time, so that's so many people. But it was all good. Got lots yeah, of leftovers for lunch some today. Those. Some of what? Off One bit, and that's it. Yeah, no, it was all really good. Really good. They all can't wait to do it again. The couple's busy lives mean they're constantly separated, and today, Alex is leaving to train in America. As a parting gift, Katie's given her husband a new look for the trip. Like Jedward. I'm not going out like that. Actually, I think that looks so much better. You're joking. It does. Wouldn't you ever care, but it looks so much better than what your hair looked like before. I know I'm not that fussed about my appearance. You know, I don't own you to say, but well, you will have your hair like this and that. Do what you want. In a few days' time, Kate is also going to the States to attend Sir Elton John's Oscar party. Pete's got the kids, so rather than be home alone, she's turning it into a week-long holiday. I don't see him for six days. But I'm busy anyway as well, so that's just as well. I'm just going to go and do something to my monstrosity. I know it's a treat. You are? Baseball cap. What? The hair. Do what you like. Do what you like. Baby, I do appreciate the fact that you, honestly, I do appreciate the fact you styled it. I just don't like it. Hey, I don't like it when you have it military, but it doesn't matter, it's you. With Alex about to leave, there's no time for bickering. Please stop. Oh. Katie and Alex both have busy diaries, but they've managed to set a date to meet up in LA. Okay. Love you. Love you. Oh. He's gone. See ya. Katie leaves for America in two days, and with Alex gone, it's time for her to get ready. She normally has hair extensions done in LA, but it's going to be a busy trip, so she's getting the nine hour ordeal out of the way. About two extensions have gone in, the start of many hours to come. I've got my little beauty therapist down there, Princess, who's taken my nail varnish off, helping Abby do my nails, aren't you? But they don't do your other one. Not yet, no. <laughs> you oh, you don't know how good it is to have hair put back in. Everyone's hard at work in the Reed household, and even Junior's pitching in. We're an hour in, so if you think I've got to get my whole head done, this is all that's been done, look, in an hour. Well, there's a lot there, but probably don't look at Despite all the pampering, Katie's mind's on one thing. Alex will be tucked up on the plane, and by the time he lands, Mark would have done my hair. How weird is that? His whole flight, I'm sitting and getting my hair done. I should miss Alex in bed. Just after these two weeks, it's cool, then I've got him again. And I'm not gonna lie, of course I hate being away from him. But if you've got to work, you've got to work. Starfish in bed it is.
By the time friends Andrew and Polly pop in, Katie's ready to showcase the new hair. The last nine hours has given me numbness here, but it's given me this. <laughs> A mane of hair. The real poker hunters. Wicked. Done. I said nine hours. What clock. did you say? Um, I think that's yeah, it's about that, wasn't it? You've been doing eight that. hours forty-seven. You've been doing that. And that's eight eight hours school trip. Forty-seven. Alex must have been landing soon. Tell you what, if his phone rings and he hasn't rang me, I'll be in trouble. He stood on the plane, I let him off. There's no time to dwell on Alex's whereabouts, though, because stylist Lara's arrived and it's time to choose an Oscar dress. <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, oh, my God, that's it. I think already that looks like the one. That's how that's going to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Put your hair all off over to one side. I shall, but that's better on than off, isn't it? The colour, though, Kate, is so different. Everyone's going to go for nude colours, silvers, you know, ivories. I think something like that is real in your face, no, isn't I it? I love that. It's gorgeous. That. Isn't it beautiful? Dress on, but Katie's not convinced. Heels. It's not that great, is it? Yeah. And Dan's green. Gorgeous. Yeah. It's quite nice. Isn't it? Katie's breast is beautiful. What do you think? It's gorgeous. Everyone or not? It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's not well, though, is it? It is well. It's what? beautiful. Yeah, shall sure, I go for that? Yeah. On the advice of her friends, Katie settles on the dress. No one's going to have anything like that. And calls it a night. <laughs> Alex is away training for his next big fight, and today Katie and her glamorous gown leave for LA. I think it's just a little bit big. Now, do I get these smaller? Oh, you put it over fire, don't you, and bend it. But melting designer sunglasses over the hob has its disadvantages. Oh no! They've gone bubbly! This might not work, but I think it, they do it in the shops. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, it works. <laughs> There's a tip for the day. Burn the sunglasses under the flame on your cooker to get a smoother, fitter, fitter. <laughs> Best not try this at home, though, unless you have an unlimited supply of sunglasses like Mrs. Reed. After an 11 hour flight, Katie arrives in LA for the Oscars. The last time she flew to America, it was to marry Alex. But he's over 100 miles away in San Diego training, so she's brought along friends Julie, Gary and Phil. But being stuck in traffic isn't the glamorous start they envisaged. Can we have a window open or something? so hot. I'll just open one. Oh, my God, she's got it on 90. No oh, wonder. Kate. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's on 90 Fahrenheit. Okay. Oh, Three. I feel sick. Yeah. Oh, Gary, <laughs> why your neck in? With the gang going nowhere fast, the predatory paps descend. Tell him, Phil, tell him. He's getting so very rude. Hard, yeah, but you can't just come up to someone's face like that and do that. So, just 24 hours since she had her last beauty treatment, Katie seeks sanctuary in her favourite nail bar. The Oscar preparations have begun, but Gary's got doubts about the outfit. Do you think that dress is right? It's a nice one. I think that dress is stunning. On. Have you seen it on? Which one? I haven't seen it on, but, but is I it like Oscars? It. it is, yeah. You, you don't yeah, like it because it's not Gitsy. No, I like it. I think it's opposite. I think it's, it's too party. No, I think it's too party dress. Do you? Is it too well? What, is it too much on it? You just want more simple and gorgeous? <laughs> Gary doesn't like the dress, which leaves only three days to find a replacement. But tonight, back at their hotel suite, the priority is getting ready for a night on the town. 
and when your friend's a beauty therapist, looking good can be a lot of fun. Okay. I have shaved them because I'm too cold no. to get in the bloody bath. You haven't shaved around your mini either. I would on Saturday oh. wore clothes to shave when Alex is here. I've told you about that. <laughs> Why do I need to shave it fully what? when Alex isn't here? What's wrong, Gary? Well, because you always used to. Don't let standards drop just because you're married. Well, I'm only showing a bed with you, love. Yeah. Katie may not have Alex by her side, but with the gang reunited, she's letting all that new hair down, just like old times. Where do broken hearts go? And on that tuneful note, there's just time for some finishing touches. I'm just doing my perfume. Oh, come on. You said oh, I smell steak. deadly. Yeah. Kate Boss said she put too much fragrance oh. on. I don't know where she I got that I don't know where she got that from. Oh, really <laughs> don't. Don't. Having freshened up, they head off to party. Yeah. See you later, alligator. Wouldn't mess with me. Wouldn't want to see ya. Whoa. Still to come, an action man arrives in Hollywood. I feel mystery manhandled. And as LA gears up for the Oscars, Katie comes to a standstill. Oh, I want to be sick. LA's Oscar preparations are well underway. The ceremony's in just two days, and there's a lot to do if Katie's to look the part. First up, Botox. And Phil's doing a bit of window shopping. It's mine a bit like that at the moment, and I'd rather have that. I'm sure they do do packing plants, don't they? I'm sure they do. Yeah, we'll all wear come yeah. here, Diane. It's a walk in the park for Katie. In and out. But she's not the only one. You've got to see this. Come and have a look. <laughs> oh, my God, no. So I had all my Botox done. Uh, Phil had his lips done. Julie had Botox. And Gary chickened out of everything again. I feel positively left out. Yeah. So now I'm on my way to have my teeth cleaned, which I don't think would be very nice for you to see. Then I'm going to look at Oscar dresses, jewellery. Then I've got a barbecue to go to tonight, and then the OK party. So I've got a lot to do today. So, next stop, the dentist, to ensure she flashes a perfect red carpet smile. So, here I am now. I'm going to give Julie a little taste of what it's like to have your teeth cleaned in America. Bye. But a few hours later, Katie seems to have overdone the gas and air, and clean teeth in L.A. have given her more than she bargained for. Oh, I want to be sick. I have to go back to the hotel. I can't get out. I need to get in bed. <laughs> Gary had hoped Katie would spend the afternoon looking for a replacement Oscar dress, but the whole day's a write-off. That's fucked my whole day up, that fucking gas. It's the following day. Katie's recovered from her dentistry disaster, but there's something to come clean about. It is a bit of my fault, because they said they put it up, what's it, the nitrogen and oxygen level. They put it between 5 and 10, 10 is the max. And she said, let me know when you feel tingly. Even I was feeling tingly at 5, I said, I don't. So she whacked it up. I was drunk. 
but I'm still saying it wasn't high enough. The next thing you know, I went, oh, I'm going to be sick. And then the dentist come in, who knows me for when they knocked me out to put me to sleep. And he said, oh, no, I know Kate long enough. She would have said it wasn't working just so you whack it up. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> so he knew me very well. The ordeals left her seriously behind schedule. So I was sick all day. So literally, everything I'd planned to, you know, I was supposed to get some jewellery for the Oscars, look at another dress for the Oscars. It was all blown out. I couldn't do any of it. The dress is for Elton John's exclusive Oscar party tomorrow night, but she's having second thoughts about going. So I'm literally going to go for one hour, and I keep saying, shall I not bother going to the Oscars? And they're like, oh, you have to just go. I'm really not bothered. Tickets are like gold dust, so unfortunately, Katie's only managed to get one. To be honest, I'd rather uh, spend time with my friends than go to the Oscars. It'd be different if they're all coming with me, but they're not. Oh, make me She'd oh, also oh, rather spend time with Alex, but because of busy schedules, it's difficult. He's away training in San Diego, but they're determined to make it work regardless of which country they're in. So, later today, he's visiting his new wife in L.A. I'm going to suck my toes, and I want it so smooth and tender. and lick it, and there it. Katie cracks on with the highlights, but Alex is ahead of schedule. ETA, one hour and 15 minutes to loving. Oh! Save it, just to let you know, Alex will be here at my hotel, one hour and 15 minutes. Darling, we need time. Can't we just click our fingers? We need 10 minutes more. 10 minutes, OK. Yeah. 10 minutes, then it'll take you about just under an hour to blow dry my hair. Mm. Perfect. Oh, great. Perfect. I'm like glad it. you like it. <laughs> Perfect. Preen to perfection, Katie makes the mad dash back to the hotel. And finally, the wait for Alex is over. Hey. Hey, baby. You look brown. Do I? Mm. Oh, you're lit. That's not that bad. Jess, get a hit all right. Oh, that's warm, isn't it? Mm. Her Romeo is back, bruised and battered. So before lunch at the exclusive Ivy restaurant, she's smartening him up, Katie style. She's making him a straight air again. Um, he does look cute with it, though. You it's would say that because you're gay. Yeah. Wouldn't you? It's quite a gay look, isn't it? Yeah. And she's not the only one keen to see the end result. How many of you haven't seen you naked for a while? Oh, I haven't either. Whoa. Can Gary do your hair, babe? What, can Gary... We're plain black or... Fucking hell! Can Gary do something else while he's doing the hair? We're in plain black or the one with the big set. You've got a mitt and that's it. Whatever one you want to wear. Let's have a couple of... Look, look, turn around. You are handsome. Come on. Let's have a couple of mitts. 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 No, that turns you on more, so that you're battered. Um, yeah, whatever you want to wear, babe, and then Gary will do your hair to make you look like you're part of us. <laughs> I'll, I'll just... Cos it's that immaculate look. Right. Mm. There's not many straight guys that look immaculate, what I know of. Look how sexy Fucking hell! Oh, she does like it. <laughs> you got wrong. a tag in it. She didn't like... You were supposed to say, oh, no, oh, you got a bit. He is fit. I've lost a lot of weight. I've lost... Uh, 15 pounds. So I'll make your willy look bigger. Just put your head there, that's it. It's about... <laughs> just stay there, don't move. With Alex looking the part, Katie's ready to give him the once-over. Oh, I see. <sighs> it just grabs me. It just grabs me. <laughs> but I've got all K in K. <laughs> Do you think that's kissable? I'd, whether it's kissable, oh, my God, it's so open. That must have killed. Yeah, it did. Didn't you? you just ruined a romantic <laughs> moment. <laughs> the only thing I was like worried about. Oh, don't know what you mean. You are. I only did. Oh fuck! I'm gonna kiss the missus now. It was like a flap. It was healed really well. What have you just put on me? What was that? Just what he does to himself, <laughs> game. <laughs> I don't want makeup on. Just a bit of colour. Jesus, come on. Have in. you missed us or me? I mean. I missed you. 
The gang are ready to go, but lunch is the last thing on the newlyweds' minds. Oh, see, I've missed being manhandled. Can you, can you just do it and then we can get... Yeah, but I like him to manhand the build-up's the best bit. Look at me! After today, Alex will be busy training again, so time is precious. Look at me! And they settle down to a private lunch, LA style. Look at me! No one see! It's the day of the Oscars, and Katie's been invited to Elton John's party to watch the awards. Unfortunately, Alex isn't going, so can't be there to offer much needed support. I just don't like red carpets, I've said that before, even at the. Uh... TV awards, whatever it was in England, I went from a shower. I just don't like red carpets. Luckily, Katie's friend Tanya was also going alone, so they've teamed up. She's ready, but Katie's way behind schedule. But I was even to last minute. It's like the people I know who are going, they've had a dress made, oh, you've yeah. had a dress made. No, everyone. no, no. I had this for my wedding. Oh, did you? <laughs> Gary didn't like the pink dress Katie decided on in the UK, but he agrees this alternative might work. I actually was going to wear that dress at the Vienna Ball. That's how unorganised I am. And I was rushing around, I just thought, oh, that would do for the Oscars. And to go with the new dress, Gary's taken it upon himself to create a whole new look. We're going a little bit more natural today. Well, not really, because she didn't wear He's only putting two sets of lashes on, and I want four. And I'm not allowed to wear my hair down. He wants me to scrunch it on the side like a flower. What are you doing? So you just gotta trust me. Can you can see these little pubes here. We don't want none of that. Well, that's what hairspray's for, Gary. If you've got the right hairspray to cement my head down, then you won't have to worry. Katie faces a very public appearance, and with no Alex on her arm, she's getting more and more self-conscious. So white, Gary. Don't, Kate. Honestly, you don't want orange. Honestly, you're fine. I don't like the way I look, unfortunately. You look fantastic. You look really natural, you look very glam. I don't like. You look, did you hear the word glam after natural? You didn't let me finish, did you? It is glam. What, just because it isn't massive hair? And loads of eye makeup? You look gorgeous. You do look gorgeous. You do? Thank you, but I don't like it. Katie wants to stick with the look she's used to, but her friends think differently. Well, she looks fantastic, to be honest. Dress in fun. We'll all go with her in the car, push her out, make sure she goes in. She's nervous. Um, I think she'll love it. What don't you like about it, Kay? The look. Well, what, tell me what you don't like about it. Don't like the look. <laughs> But you look gorgeous. Is it because you feel grown up? Is it because you suddenly feel as I don't bit... look glamour. You do! You, oh my you look God. so glamorous. Glamorous, not glamorous. But glamour. classy glamorous. Mm. Okay, I am the type of girl it's the who likes it's the hair, the look. Yeah, but you the do that every time. It's there. good to do yeah. change. This is a bit like. Where's my hair? Zone. I'm going to carry on this. Put your hands on your yeah. like that. A bit better tunes. Like that is definitely a look. What if I can't get in? Well, you come home then, right? You look really yeah, good. Actually, actually, wait for me yeah, until I'm in. Finally, they're off, and despite her fears, Katie makes a good first impression with the paps. You look beautiful. And in the limo, Julie tries to boost her confidence. Did you hear that, Pat Gary? He said yeah. she looks absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. I've never seen her look like that. Yeah, he's not too And it, who, who you got to thank for it? No, because he said it as oh, he walked yeah. away out of your shot of you. She does look good, doesn't she? She does. Me and Tanya, we both scrub up. So a glamorous, more sophisticated Katie heads off to Sir Elton's party. Cheers, Tanya. To a Cheers. good have a Here's a little quiet. Cheers. 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 Cheers, everybody. Yeah, this is it. You're here. And all too quickly, it's time to put on a brave face. I think we're queuing it to get our tickets. I don't know what queue we're in, but... Should we just jump it? Oh, I don't know, I'm with you, Tanya. Oh, look, you can wear short dresses. What the fuck am I in this for, then? And with Katie dispatched, the gang head back to the hotel. 
her hair looks great, I think her makeup looks great. I still would have lost one pair of lashes, but the dress is very hit and miss. I think people are either going to love it or hate it. It's very Spanish, but I just think it's still too fussy. It, I would have loved to have seen her in a simple black dress. Back at base, there's a nail-biting wait for pictures of that dress. You would have thought they would have had them on straight away. Yeah, she was nervous, but the cake's not bothered about it. She doesn't care what anybody yeah, thinks. What they say. She doesn't give a shit what anyone thinks, but obviously I care and we care, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow's papers to find out. The Oscar ceremony is over, but the Vanity Fair after show party is just beginning. And from their hotel, the gang have the perfect view as it gets into full swing. <laughs> But Katie's decided to call it a night. Hello. 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 Got you some chocolates. Oh, you too. We've got a great view. Oh, it's worth showing. I'm so cold. I need to see my husband. I've got tickets for him. How weird is this? I'm not going. Yeah, I have. You're just walking and walk straight out. Do you know? I know this is really weird. I have actually got an invite for that party here. Why don't you just go? I've ordered you chips and a hot chocolate. And guess what? I've done my red carpet tonight. She may have the hottest ticket in town, but for Katie, nothing beats the simple pleasures in life. Hanging out with her mates. Camera off now. I'm home now. Piss off. Coming up, home is where the heart is. Isn't like anyone else washing his hair. And the path of true love is never easy. All I want to do is just pick him up like every other normal couple. Katie's back in Britain after a week in LA, and the press are ready to pounce. Nice and easy, fellas. Have a walk back slowly, lads, yeah? They're just getting more and more intrusive. It's so ignorant. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. Like, now I'm going to follow my face. I'm going to hit somebody. <laughs> They're falling over themselves to get the shot. <laughs> But Katie's off. It's been nearly a week since she saw Alex in LA, and Katie's back to being mum. It's always nice to come home. Back to riding my horses. I've got the kids this week, so I should do stuff with them. Okay. Hey. Good boy. My mum is gonna run your bath, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> After the chaos of LA, it's time for a bit of normality. Is that yummy in your tummy? Yeah. And then you're gonna get in the bath and mummy wash your hair. Yeah? Stop jumping like a frog. It's that excited tweet. <laughs> yeah, look at the bubbles. Mm. Is that nice? We're making you clean. Doesn't like anyone else washing his hair. Before long, one young man is smartly dressed. 18. 19. 20. And after a week with Pete, a little princess is being dropped back at Mummy's house. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks, Sam. Thank Take you. care. Bye. Say bye. See you later. Who's that, Harvey? And Pippa or Princess. That's right. Good boy. Did you miss Mummy? Did you? Put a fish cat on you. Hmm? Two down, one to go. I'm just about to go and pick Junior up from school as I'm at home. I'm um, picking him up. I haven't seen him since I'm back from LA, so he'll love it that I'm picking him up. Is that what your buddies sing? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. You're so gorgeous, aren't you? 
Did you miss me? Yeah. Katie's family are ready to turn in for the night. And she may be without Alex, but there are three very important little people to kiss goodnight. Yes, cheeky getting out the bath tonight, you cheeky boy. See you in the morning. Night night, princess. Night. Love you. I love you. Alex is on his way home from America. Katie's desperate to see her hubby again, and the wait is nearly over. And with the glitz and glamour of LA behind her, she's enjoying being Mrs. Reed again. A car could pick him up, but. I want to be treated normal as well. I want to go and pick my husband up, so I'm going to pick him up. On arrival at Heathrow, it's clear she's not the only one waiting for Alex. Oh, no, they've seen the car. Shit! All I want to do is just pick him up like every other normal couple. Over but when there. two celebrities live side by side, normality's not always possible. You're four. Cool. Well, I'm gonna run in. I haven't got that shot. Mm. I'm so poor. Home, have a shave. You're gorgeous. Serious snog. Have a bath. A bit more snogging. Oh, well, you look fit. Do you not look fit? Yeah, he's sexy. What do you think I look like? Oh, you're hot. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally back together, they head off for some quality time alone. Since filming for this series started, Katie's roller coaster life has had some monumental ups and downs. This is like Dynasty in Dallas. After her trip to the jungle, the future with Alex was thrown into question. I've told him time and time again, don't use me to get famous. I feel more hurt from this split than what I did with Pete, strangely enough. And she faced a lonely Christmas without two of her kids. In 31 years, it's the worst Christmas I've had. <laughs> but New Year's Eve saw her say goodbye to a painful time in her life. And everything started to turn around. The nation took the man she loved to their hearts. And the happy couple surprised everyone with their Vegas wedding. That is my new husband behind. This is perfect. I just, I've never felt like this ever. We flew to Vegas as boyfriend and girlfriend, and we fly back to England, husband and wife. My life at the moment, so not boring, hearts all around me, love. I'm living life how I should be living life. Katie Price, there's no longer. <laughs> Lots of things to look forward to. Planning our summer wedding. I want to be able to say I'm pregnant. I'm looking for a new house to move to and just being a normal wife, mum and a work person. And the best thing about it is I've got someone to share it with now, like a proper family unit again. Katie and Alex haven't had an easy time since they met eight months ago, but they've stuck with it and are now settled together. I don't know if our life's a whirlwind or a tornado. I mean, I've said that in the past. I would say it's a fairy tale. The whole way through, we've had to fight for each other. We've just heard it from everyone. Who cares? You know, everyone's always going to say, oh, they're not going to last, this, that. Do we care? No. Are we doing what we want to do? Yes. Are we happy? Yes. Have we got a future together? Yes. What can you add to that? Never underestimate the reedy. You like me to say that? No. OK. Never more. underestimate the pricey. In my dream. We're on the train, we're headed to the desert, and we just don't know what to expect. He's cute. Well, you have been.
been so strong the whole way. Don't miss Abby Clancy's Parent Trip, Thursday at 9 on ITV2.